let's do a little thought experiment let's think about what the world would look like after the nanotechnology revolution the one that gives us complete control of the structure of matter all the way down to the atomic level what would the environment look like well in principle it would mean the end of chemical pollution we could have the lifestyles that we enjoy today with zero chemical pollution what would medicine look like we could have molecular machine systems so small that could go into the body they could kill individual cancer cells clean out your arteries even repair your DNA molecules let's look at transportation you could make materials so strong and so lightweight that you could send a family of four with luggage into orbit in a spaceship the size of a family car now you may be thinking that sounds like science fiction and you know what it does and that means you're paying attention and you're right because that's what a technological revolution looks like it looks like science fiction and you've already seen one I want you to think back 20 years from today what did the information world look like back then well gosh the word internet was a new word HTML was brand new it was just taking baby steps your personal computer was laughable by today's standards your bandwidth was practically non-existent think how the world has changed for you in 20 years that's a technological revolution that's in the information space so what I'm talking about is doing the same kind of thing bringing the digital level of control into the physical world instead of with bits we should do it with atoms how do you do that you do it the way nature does it with systems of molecular machines yes they're actually machines down at the molecular level that's how nature does it that's how we'll do it our machines will be designed they won't be evolved so there is a nation that has stepped up to this process that is building a molecular computer with single molecule logic elements that is going to make these elements literally atom by atom a rising nation who is it maybe you're thinking is it China you're close it's Singapore so the most advanced theoretical work in nanotechnology has come out of the United States um, I would say the very best of it that I've seen is done is here in the Bay Area no surprise because it's based very strongly on computation and that's a big strength of ours here uh, but here we are the best experimental work is moving to Singapore what's that about at Foresight we would like to have the United States and in particular the Bay Area be the world's leader in this race for molecular machine systems so what are we doing number one seeking out geniuses uh, we do this with our Feynman prize in nanotechnology every year we pick the very best in terms of experimental work and theory as well and we uh, give them our Feynman prize named of course after Richard Feynman um, I get to make those phone calls uh, it is one of the most fun part of my job you wouldn't believe how excited that you'd think they won the Nobel Prize it is so wonderful to call these folks so then what do you do you get them together bring them together this is a multidisciplinary task you need chemists physicists biologists material scientists EEs and it's all held together with of course computation that's the glue that holds all this stuff together so you bring them together and you point them at the goal then what do you do well you do a technology roadmap here it is here's the first draft I want to thank again Ted Waite founder of Gateway Computer for funding this roadmap the first draft what's the next step well it's time to flesh this out it's time to implement it and implement it here in the Bay Area now I know I've seen the list of who's here I know we have the brains to do this that this group has the brains to do this um, we also have the financial resources Foresight has a matching challenge grant to the end of the year. Anything you chip in will be, will be matched. 
Um, but even more so, I want your skill sets, right? The skill set of this room is, is immense. I want you to come by our table. I want you to check the little box on the card for Foresight and get in touch with us. We want you on the team. Thank you very much. <laughs>